clever experiment you can do with gobstoppers, water, to learn about solubility and color mixing. Here's what I want you to do. You know when you take a gobstopper or any piece of candy, put it in your mouth, and then over time your tongue changes color? That means that the dye is water soluble. So, a little experiment. On a plate like this, you see how we organized them? It doesn't really matter how you do that, but I just want you to pour water into the very middle like this. So we've separated them, pour the water in, and then let them sit here for just a couple minutes. Now what's gonna happen as you're watching is just the same thing that happened on your tongue. The, the dye here is gonna start to dissolve in the water. So you see that we get a little bit of orange here, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. You can start to see how it's, it fans out. But as you let them sit over time, now all of a sudden the colors will start to leave the candy, move into the water, and they start to form some amazing patterns. Here, take a look at this. This one has been sitting here for just a couple minutes. You can see the color now leaving the gobstoppers here, but look at these amazing lines that you get over time. It's only been sitting there for a couple minutes, but look at how the color kind of works its way in. I don't know if there's a good explanation for why those lines are there, other than maybe the concentration of the sugar, or there's something kind of unusual with those dyes, but the bottom line is you get this great color mixing between these two. Actually, you can kind of see kind of that darker purple that's there as the green works its way in. But notice how it starts here. That's the finish, but look at that in-between piece. You can see those solid lines in between all of those as uh, the candy starts to work its way towards the very center. It's beautiful. It's a great way to think about solubility or something dissolving in something else. And you get a little color mixing at the same time. Plus, who am I kidding? You get a treat. I'm Steve Spanger, and that's your Science Minute. A good one, too.